information gathering within disciple making movements. Module 5. Paul Track Church Planting Outcomes. Principle 5. Coaches gather information from workers at every level, to help them make plans to reproduce churches and leaders. The New Testament Book of the Acts of the Apostles, 14, 20 through 28, provides a model of how the Apostle Paul trained others to start several new churches in diverse localities. The Apostle Paul went on with Barnabas to Derbe. When they had preached the gospel to that city, and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith, and saying, It is through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them in every church, with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Then they sailed to Antioch, in Syria, where they had been commended to the grace of God, for the work that they had fulfilled. Of ministry workers form small groups, and conduct a discovery Bible study of Acts 14, 21 through 26, and reply to this query. What were several phases of Paul's method of planting new churches? Afterwards, Affirm all good answers. Then summarize the following phases. One. Churches appoint and send out small teams of experienced disciple makers. Two. Team members seek out a receptive community. Three. They announce the good news, usually to households where invited. 4. They make many disciples who start obeying commandments of Jesus. 5. They return repeatedly, strengthening the disciples' faith with sound doctrine. 6. They prepare disciples for persecution with Bible promises. 7. They appoint elders in each young church, and follow up with these afterwards. 8. After prayer with fasting, they commend each new church to the Lord. 9. They depart in a timely manner, reporting outcomes to their sponsors. 10. They spend time raising up new workers amongst obedient believers. Hold a group discussion about principles that participants can draw from Paul's method. Underscore the following. Start several new churches in the same time frame. Coaches ensure that new churches move through these phases tracking their progress. Church planting phases can occur in any order. New churches can be planted in a few weeks or a few months. Most new churches will be shepherded by local folk without formal education. Training 5 have small work groups hold a discovery Bible study of 2 Timothy 2, 1 through 2, and reply to this query. What was Paul's method of training several generations of new church leaders? Afterwards, acknowledge all good answers, then affirm the following. Paul provided a model for training leaders on the job. Paul sought to track leader training to a third generation. A. Paul, B. Timothy, Titus, Silas and others, C. Faithful individuals, and D. Others also. 
Through such training chains, Paul was able to track several lineages of new churches, and their leaders. Conclusion 5 Leaders and coaches, who track church planting and leader training, must provide workers with tracking tools that help them with their work.